but I started seeing that the problem with me was my sinful nature, my my flesh. I could not I could not do no good. There's nothing good in me. I had altogether become filthy and unprofitable. You know, and I felt like, like as a woman that I I felt like I truly deserved. And, and I remember watching when I was watching the video of uh, Christ in Gethsemane, how he drank the cup of wrath. You know, how he was beaten with stripes for my sake. You know, and I was weeping and I and I wept and I wept and you know the following the following weeks my my addiction was completely gone. I was free. I was I was like chains were broken off. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I was free. I was you know I felt like you know there was no like it was not me forcing myself to to stay away. It was not me making a program that you know I will I'll try as much as possible to stop my addiction. It was being set free. Or free because because Jesus, you know, gave his life for me, you know, at that cross. You know, I I would just just imagine Jesus dying on my cross and I I remember there's something that usually ha- happened to me in my heart, you know. Just like I was given this power to overcome who I was before. It gave me power to over to over, to to overcome addiction, you know, to overcome other things God was showing me, like lying, you know, stealing, you know, coveting, you know. And truly I was I was I was like that man who found who found a, who found a, a pal in the garden and went and sold everything. You know, I felt like I was ready to, to give up all for this precious part, you know, and just stand there and say this is worth it all. Amen. So I, I, I like I like knew the reality of the of the verse. Whoever the sun whomever the sun sets free is is really free indeed. It's like even you're, you're free from the desires of this world, from from even what people covet and people chase after, you know, and you realize that this is 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 like precious and to to you and like you want to tell people like you know what you are chasing after is will pass away like grass it will wither. <laughs> what I have here, you know, even in my darkest hour, you know, I have my I have my father, I have Jesus. Remember, I started rejoicing. It was like rivers of flowing water. You know, started. I started going to the service, and you know, I felt. You know, I, I really I was really feeling ashamed. I was wondering why people lift up their hands. But I was there. Oh, <laughs> the mercy that has been shown upon me. <laughs> a sinner like me to <laughs> to be called the son of God, and yeah, it was. It was truly glorious, you know, and and I, that's when I really saw the, you know, when I was being transformed. It's when I really, saw, I really now started seeing the the fields that I was living in, you know, and I, even I I just realized the fact that even the old me would hate the me right now if we met. We would even not totally not be friends <laughs> at all. Glory be to Jesus. <laughs> Truly. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, O Lord. Bless your name, O God. <sighs> Jesus paid it all, all to him, I owe. Romans chapter 3, where we just read. <clears throat> After that long description of the sin of man, of all men, it says in verse 19, 
Now we know that what, th what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. And this verse must be reached, and this is what Ben is describing, how he felt like there was nothing good in him, how he felt like he was a wrath-deserving sinner and had no, no argument before God to make himself just or righteous. And to such a man as this, it says in verse 21, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely. It was a free gift. And so long as a man tries to put forth his righteousness before God and try to bring some case before God why he's worthy to be loved by God, God resists that man. That's pride. He says that God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. But when a man truly sees that there is nothing worthy of life in him, it says, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> and most men don't come to this point. This is, a, this is a consumption of flesh. This is a destruction of self-righteousness to where there's nothing left. There's nothing a man can bring forth before God. And then from that point, God restores the life that was lost even in the garden. This, this sinless life of Jesus Christ fills the man and makes him a new creature. The Holy Ghost of God filling the man and making him a new creature. To her, what Ben just said is absolutely true. If the old Ben could meet the new Ben, they would not be friends. The old Ben would hate the new Ben. And that's exactly what the scripture speaks about, actually, about Ishmael and Isaac, these two sons of, of uh, Abraham, how that they were at enmity with one another because one was born after the flesh and one born after the spirit. And the, and the one that was born after the flesh persecuted the one that was born after the spirit. And so that's a very real, like even biblical argument that you make that if the old Ben would meet the new Ben, they would not be friends. The old Ben would persecute the new Ben. And so this is the birth of God. Jesus said, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. God. Shall we go to the waters? Amen. Amen. Tensive one way. Are you ready to follow Christ? For better for worse? Sickness and health? Until death? Yes. He's gone. Yeah. Who, is, who is Jesus Christ to you? He's my Savior. Praise God. Is He your Lord? Yeah, my Lord and Savior. Lord God. Praise Him one way. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Praise you! Praise you, guys! I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. I find I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and he gave himself for me. Who loved me? Who loved me? Who loved me?
me and he gave himself for me. Who love me? Who love me? David. Who love me and he gave himself for me. <laughs> if ye then be risen with Christ, Seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Amen. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Ye are dead, ye are dead, ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Ye are dead, ye are dead, ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Come, brothers, let's pray for him.